Hello everybody and welcome to Code of Aditya. Today we're going to be doing another scratch project called Paintbox. So let's get started. So we have our tutorial Paintbox and we have Scratch open here. So here's what we're going to be making. So you can draw around with a pencil like this. You can click to change the color like this. You can use the eraser to erase what you did. And you can press the X to clear the whole drawing. You can also use the width to change the width. So like this, now it's thicker, the line. And that also applies to the eraser, so the eraser erases more thick and this erases drawing. So let's get started. So making a pencil. So open the online starter project like this. We'll drag that in here. So this is a starter project. We have to click remix to make it our own and paint box remix and then we need to add the pen extension so to add the pen extension you need to go to the bottom left corner and click on it and then click pen okay so then we need to add this code to the pencil sprite so click on the pencil sprite go to events and drag in one flag clip to this block and then we need to go to control, drag in a forever, forever loop, and drag it under here. Go to motion, and click drag in a go to random position, and click on random position, and click mouse pointer. So then this should work. So click the flag and move the mouse pointer. Okay, and the pencil follows us. This. So now we need to allow the pencil to draw if we click down. So to do that, we need to get an if block, if then else block. So if then else, this block here, and drag it under go to mouse pointer. Then go to sensing and take the mouse down here and drag it into the diamond and should just snap it. And then we want to go to pen, the pen all the way at the bottom, the extension we added. And the first one is pen down, the second one is pen up. Like this. So when we click, it will put the pen down, and when we if we're not clicking, then it'll put the pen up. So when you're clicking, you should draw. When we're not clicking, you shouldn't draw. So if we try it out, and it works. So now we can go to color pencil. So click on the costumes of the pencil sprite. So go to costumes of the pencil sprite, click on it, and then rename pencil A to pencil B, blue. And that's the, the to rename it, you just click on the text box here to rename it. And then we need to right click duplicate to duplicate it and name it pencil green. Like this. And then we need to change it to green. So to do that, we need to make that um we need to make the fill color green. So I'm gonna make my color 100 and my color like greenish. This is green. Okay, and then when you click the paint the bucket tool, this tool under the eraser. And then go over this and then click on it. Go over the blue part and click on it. Now we have a green pencil. It says draw two new sprites, one blue square and one a green square. Okay, so we need to go over the sprite, click paint. So now we have costume one. We're going to name this blue, this. And we want to draw. We want to convert. Uh, we, have to, we have to draw. A square. So this because it's blue, we don't want our color to be this green. So let's go back to our pencil sprite. Go back to pencil blue, and then click on the color fill, and then click this pipette dropper button. So you can, and then it should bring up the circle. And if you go over the blue part right here, then if you click on it, it should set the color to blue. So then we can go back to the sprite one we added, and. Um, draw a box because we have the fill to the correct color and we want the outline to be none. 
So draw this like line right here. Click on this line. So it will make no outline. So now we can draw the box. You just click and then drag. And then there will be a box here. This. This is a bit too big. We can make it a little bit tinier. You can press these buttons to zoom in. And these to drag. So try to make it smaller until it looks about right. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that looks about right. So we can drag this here. Like that. And that's our blue. Um, square. I'm just going to put that in the middle. Oh, that disappeared. Let's put it here. Okay, yeah. Now we can move this here. Okay, so I just move this into the middle and a square that looks around about right. And I can rename the sprite to. right here or to sprite we're going to rename this to blue Oops. and now we need to make a green sprite so go back to your pencil go to pencil green costume and then um select the fill and then click the dropper like this and select the green so now the color is green we can go back to here create a new sprite paint hover over this click paint and it created a new sprite. We're gonna name the sprite right here. Green. Like this. And we wanna draw a box that's green too. So to make it consistent, I'm gonna click on this. And I'm gonna do control C. And then go to green and do control V. So here, you could click here. Click on the mouse tool, click on it, right click. It won't let you copy but you can do control c or click the copy button and then go here and then p p press the paste button and you'll paste it in and we just need to change the color now so go back to pencil because it erased our color so we need to click here again dropper and select the green color so we can go back to green now click the paint bucket tool paint bucket tool and then cover over this and select it so now we have this. So we can add, drag this in here. Like that. So now we have a green color. And let's see what it says to say next. Rename the sprites to the blue and green. And we already did that. So when this sprite clicked, broadcast green. So on here, click on the green and then go to code. And say when this sprite clicks. So that's an events. When this sprite clicked, broadcast message one. But instead of message one, you want to click on message one, click new message, and type in green. So that gives us green. One broadcast green. And in the pencil sprite, we want to, when I receive green, switch costume to pencil green and set pen color to green. So. If we go to events, when I receive green right here, we want to switch costume looks, switch costume to um, pencil green right here. Switch costume to pencil green, like it says here. And then in pen, we want to set pen color here. Click on pen, set pen color to if we if we click on the dropper tool right here it highlights this and we can hover over the green and click on it and it'll set the correct color so now if we go here click on green and then do this and it should work but then also um let's switch to pen blue sprite and then go back to your code and then click this now if we press green it switches the sprite and it does this Okay, 
So let's move on. So on the blue square, we want to do the same thing. So events, when I when this right clicked, broadcast green, then click new message and name this blue. Like this. So then we want to go back to our pencil. We can right click duplicate this. Right click on when I receive and duplicate. And now when I receive blue, that's right to pencil blue. Costume to pencil blue. When I receive blue, switch costume to pencil blue. And set pen color to click the dropper. And then hover over the blue and click. And it'll change it. So now if we try this out, if we click the blue sprite, we can draw in blue. Click the green sprite, we can draw in green. Okay. So finally add this code to the, tell the pencil sprite which color to start with and make sure that the screen is clear when your program starts. So we want to start with blue. So at the top of everything, before the forever loop, we want to go to pen, do erase all right here. Switch costume to pencil blue in the looks. So switch costume to eraser and change that to pencil blue. And set pen color to blue. So we can right click on this, duplicate, and drag it up here. So what I did is right click, duplicate, and drag it up here. But you don't need to do that twice. Um, we can delete the block. So now if we try it out, it starts off here. We can select green, draw with green, select blue, draw with draw with blue, like this. And then if we stop the program and start it again, it'll clear everything and go to blue. Like this, stop and start, and it'll go to blue. That's the code we added. Okay, so now the challenge is adding more pencils, red, yellow, and black pencils to your paint program, okay? And yeah, so I will do that and I'll come back. Okay, hello everybody, and um, what I have is all of it done. So I added the red, yellow, and black as the way we did all of them. I created the sprite, I made the costume, I colored it the same color, I made the new pencil, I added the code for when this right click broadcast red and um, in, in the pencil code, I just duplicated all of these and just changed the color and changed when I receive. So it all works right now. So I can do red, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and I can do black. So. Um, I'm going to continue to the next step. So, let's see. We're going to do undo mistakes. So, it's an X block. So, we want to add a sprite. From here, choose a sprite. And search up X block. Adding this right from the library. Let's try finding it. Should be here. X. Seems like I can't find it. Oh, X block. Here it is. Block X. It's called block X now. Well, that's weird. Well, it's block X. So I figured that out for you. So we have block X. We want to put it here. I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller. Like 70 size. You click on size and you can put 70 in there. Yeah. And I'm going to put it right here. And then on the code, I'm going to do one flag clicked from event and pen, erase all. Now, if we do this, draw something. Like 
this, and then click this. Oh, not one flag click. Oops. We want when the sprite clicked. So delete one flag clicked and add one the sprite click. When we click on it now, it deletes it. Okay. So we can move on to the next step. Now we want to add the eraser. So we have an eraser here and click on the eraser sprite and select show. So if we click on this and select show here, we can move this around a little according to what you need. Like this. And to show it, you just, it was like this before and you have to click the show button. So then we need to when this sprite clip broadcast eraser. So in the code, we need to do when this sprite clicked broadcast black and change that to new message eraser. Okay. And we need to add some code to create the eraser. So let's just use the hint. And receive eraser, which cost into eraser. Okay, so we need to add this code. This is like the same. Go back to the pencil, duplicate black. When I receive eraser instead of black, set costume to eraser, set pen color to white. That basically acts like erasing. So we try this out, click eraser. Well, let's draw something first. And then try erasing it and it does erase but really badly really thin not really useful okay so let's see So, it says there's one problem, and you can draw on the clear and erase buttons. So, let's, let's see if we can actually do that. So, if we click here, yeah, we can, oh, oops. Let me fix that real quick. Okay. So... Yeah, we can draw like between these right here, like this, which is not what we want. So we have to fix that. So we want to add this code instead of what we have right now. So right now we just have to if mouse down, we want to add this code. So in operators, select the and, drag mouse down into one of them, and select the greater than, this one, blank greater than 50 and select this right here and drag this whole block into here so let me zoom out a little bit so we have mouse down and this um block here greater than 50 we want to make this negative 120 and we need to go to sensing and do mouse y in this one because it's a circle block which fits into here and then a number here now if we try drawing here it doesn't let us right here we can't draw okay now we want to change the pencil width because this is really thin and sometimes it's annoying. So we need to first add a variable called width. So in variables, click on variables, make a variable, name it width. 
Okay, and now we have a width variable. And in the forever loop, we want to add in pen, we want to add change pen, set pen size to width. So here, set pen size, the variables, drag the circle block, width here. And that's width. So it should look like that. We go to here, set pen size, drag it under, go to mouse pointer, go to variables, drag width into the circle. So we need to right click on this and make it a slider. Right click on the variable, make it a slider so we can change the value. Right? And then let's see if we can change the pen width. Press go. Right now it's thin. If we change the width, it becomes thicker. Really thick in this case. So this is a challenge, like switch the blue pencil, switch the green pencil with like keyboard. And um, this is a challenge for you guys. So you guys can do this challenge. I'll leave it to you. And we're done with this project. So um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.